Here we are once again in another day in the survival world. Hope you're doing well today. So, uh, last time we started working on this terrain a little bit, and there's something that's missing. The block that I want to put up here on the top of the ledge, and that block is moss. And moss can be found in two places. One, if you're really lucky, in a shipwreck, which we have one, I believe, out that way somewhere, as well as one right over there. Might even be right there. It's, they're kind of hard to see sometimes, but we have two shipwrecks that I'm aware of. We want to do some ocean exploring, but the second one is a, a lush cave, which is a little bit harder to find because you have to find an azalea tree. So both ways of finding moss has like a quote-unquote structure in the world that kind of sticks out um, where it's at. But uh, I don't want to do the lush cave route because I feel like that's a little more difficult, but the shipwreck route, you have to get lucky. So, the first thing I want to do though, before I go off on my ocean adventure, I want to have a structure and a place to uh, make sense for us to be able to go traveling on the ocean. That means finishing this path down here, winding along the edge here, and down to there, and then building a dock. So, uh, let me get the path built down there, and then we can work on the dock. Alright, so my current thoughts for the support of the uh, dock here is I take the spruce, and I think what I'll do, I gotta go quite a bit down here. The idea is to stack it up like this, and we'll probably leave that unstripped there, and when we get up to the top, I want to put like birch on top, so just for temporary I'll put that there, so that it looks like it's kind of like aged by the sun, and then this can kind of almost look like string. And maybe we can put one more on the top, so it's almost like there's, you know, rope tied around the top of it. That looks kind of cool. I might need to lower it one or raise it one, I'm not sure, but I think I'll just keep fiddling. Put in all four of these that I want here at least, and then see how I think about it. See what you guys think too.
we go. We got a bit of a basic thing in here, and I th for now we'll put some torches on here. Maybe we'll upgrade it to lanterns later, but I'd like to just get some light down here. Be great. And then next thing I want to do is actually make some fences, and I feel like spruce is pretty good because spruce kind of just has a bit of that almost like wet texture to it. What I want to do is actually park the boat pretty close here. Gotta park up. Blah, words. I'll back it up just a little bit. And what I want to put is kind of like almost like a little bay section or like a parking spot. So these uh, fences kind of indicate where our boat gets parked. Then I can just take a couple more like this. Go another spot to park it. All right, maybe later we can do some fun things with uh, these boats. In fact, what we're going to do with this one specifically. We're going to pick that one up. We're going to make ourselves a couple more planks here. We're going to grab ourselves a boat, not a boat, a chest to make a uh, chest with a boat. There we go. So now we can hold shift, you know, crouch, and then we can put stuff in here for our, uh, our journeys. Now I'm just getting in some support pieces specifically for the staircase here. One thing I always like to do whenever I build something, I like to clear out all the blocks all the way down until there's like not one you can see once you place the block to kind of like give the illusion that it's like all the way down into the ground. And then we're going to figure out something here. Let's stick a piece of gravel in there. Get rid of that flowing water. Now I have this part right here would actually meet up here, so what we can do is we can dig this down. If it goes into the water, we can then dig it down a little bit more. And do the same kind of technique. We'll put our logs in right here. And then we'll have to figure out what I want to do exactly. Maybe I'll do an alternating version of that. That could be cool. Ooh, okay. Kind of interesting. I don't know if it like, looks good, but it's definitely interesting. I think I just need to do more birch along here. And then just have only the uh, jungle one at the top. Yeah, that's better. Um, I definitely want to get some more like details on these things. So I might put like a mixture of trap doors and things, kind of help wrap together the the vibe of it. But that's kind of a cool looking you know picture we got here, and it's gonna look even cooler once I like fill in the rest. So that has like all the supports and everything, and it makes more sense and. Who knows, maybe I'll even take my terrain and bring it over to these cliffs as well, which that would look really cool. Hello, creepers. I see you made a friend. I'd be very careful we don't get too close to these guys. I don't want them to blow up. That would be very sad. I've been fiddling with a couple details. I've been putting the uh, oak buttons at the top. I felt like that's a pretty good look. Um, doing the ladders along the... Uh, jungle logs looks pretty good as well, and then I figured putting some oak trapdoors along there would make it look pretty nice as well. But looking at this from afar, I feel like I need something in between there, maybe? I gotta think of kind of what would look good in that position. But I might even try doing a bunch of trapdoors kind of in those spaces as well, because it might look pretty good to take like a bunch of jungle trapdoors and have them be almost like a wall. I actually kind of like how that looks, even with the fence gates there. That might be what I do for like all the, the edging points where it's like you're likely to fall off, so I might do it there as well. And then I think I might expand this dock a little bit more, make it a bit wider. I'll do like another uh, two of those back further. We can have like some storage and things, kind of like we have that table there. We'll put it some other things. I've got like some chests and barrels and a composter I want to put on there.
I've got the dock section here done. I probably want to put at least one more support in here, so that makes sense since that looks like it's a little too long to be supported by those two bits. But yeah, come in here and park our boat. Got a bunch of like odds and ends to look like there's stuff like on the docks here, and then I using the combination of ladders and rails to almost look like these have been like strapped down. Not that all of them are strapped down, but it makes more sense for like this taller set, so, like it doesn't like fall over or something. And then just having a few different blocks in here just helps add some extra detail and almost like these could be even like a big bag of flour or something like that. And these barrels could be like maybe full of fish or something and then this could have stuff inside it as well. And then we all sorts of random cargo in the chests. And then uh, there's actually a yeah, little bookshelf snuck in here because it looks like a crate. And even the uh, work... what is that called again? My brain's forgetting. Crafting table. Yes, the crafting table also looks like a nice like crate and stuff. And then it's also accessible down here if we want to do any sort of building. Hello zombie, you coming to uh, admire the uh, docks and turn into a drowned? <laughs> so we got an extra boat here just kind of chilling. Uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty cool. What I think I might do is at some point, if I can get some leads, I can attach them to the boats and actually tie them here so it's like they're tied to the dock so they don't drift away because if these were actually in water, they'd be long gone by now. All right, I'm just prepping for our little adventure and I thought it'd be good to uh, actually make a couple of brushes. I got myself an extra shovel. Also got myself an extra shield if we need those. I think it'd be good to be able to make use of the uh, brushes in case we come across anything in archaeology, which is... I don't think we haven't covered whatsoever, but uh, we'll probably run into some, especially if we head over to, there was this little spot that was kind of glowy, like over here. It's actually ruins that are underwater. We'll probably investigate those while we're out exploring. I think we're good on food, so basically our boat, our chest boat, is going to be our storage as we're going for any of the loot that we find along the way. So let's hop in and... Uh, Let's start our adventure. The first thing I want to do is actually cut over here to the left side. We're going to head over to this shipwreck. And we'll investigate what spoils have been left there for us. Ooh, so it's not looking very promising. <gasps> we got moss first try. That's amazing. Okay, actually that helmet's really good. Okay, let's get out of the water. I don't want to drown. Oof. Okay, cool. Well, that's technically our objective, so we can kind of do a couple more just for fun. Oh, that's cool. That actually shows that. Look at that. A 400% uh, submerged mining speed. That's pretty cool. That's an, I think this is an exclusive thing you can do on Java, is you can show extra tooltips. That's why I can see, like, durability and stuff. Got TNT potatoes. I don't know if we had potatoes planted, but that's perfect. We can actually add those to our field if we don't. And suspicious stew. Let's see what we get. <gasps> Night vision. That's pretty cool. Not that it's going to be useful for very long. <laughs> Ooh, we have one more chest. And yes, there's the buried treasure. That is awesome. So quite often these uh, shipwrecks will have what's called a buried treasure map. And if we follow that map, it's somewhat like the... Uh, Trial Chambers maps, except for it's leading us to treasure and loot. It looks like we're on the right side of the map, so we need to head to the left. So this should get us on the map. I just realized. So the top of the map is that direction. We are currently at that direction of the map, so we need to go that way. <laughs> we were going the wrong way. Oh, I just <gasps> found ruins. Okay, let's see if we can find some of this suspicious sand. Oh, there we go. I almost missed this on my way back. Ooh, okay. We're gonna get another shirt. Yay! Let's see what else there is. Sometimes there's treasure buried in here too. It's not the most exciting loot usually, but we can dig around a little bit, see if we can find a treasure chest. And we'll get ourselves a little bit of sand as we're doing so. Uh, it's not looking promising. Having some uh, water breathing potions or something could make this much easier of a task to do. But as we look around... Oh, there, there's some more suspicious looking gravel. That is a archaeology specific uh, feature. What's that? Ow. 
Oh, ah, no, no, no. Oof, get out. Okay. Oh, we got a full iron axe from that. That's actually pretty cool. Put the sand away, and then uh, we got one more over here. We'll go investigate this one. See if there's anything useful or interesting. Oh, there's a chest there. That's, I believe it's usually only one of these that has a chest. Oh, okay, cool. We're gonna get another buried map. Now, the thing about that buried treasure map, this one and this one, they're going to be identical, unfortunately. So we don't get an extra map for this. If I were to, oops, I won't put that one away. If I were to open this up, you can see right there the X is on the left, and this one's identical. So it's purely just there as a copy. I might keep one just for fun to uh, put on the wall for displays or something. Ah uh -huh, man. Not getting very lucky with these right now. Okay, more wheat. Treasure chest. Ooh, okay, we got a fishing rod. That's something new. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we got any more this, this gravel. Not gravel. We're, we're in a sandy area. Let's see, let's see. Oh, right there. What do you have for me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What was that? Ow. Ow. A golden nugget. Ooh, another shard. Sure, technically. Oh, another treasure chest. Some wheat. And ow. 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 Oh, here we go. A sniffer egg. That's really rare, actually. I can't believe we got that lucky. Like this, I feel like this world is pretty darn lucky. There's been a lot of cool things that have happened here that it, I feel like are usually rare. I'm gonna make a quick uh, pit stop here, and we can actually take advantage of all of these chests we have. We can store all of our goodies that we don't want to keep taking with us into here. I saw some magma blocks over here, so I was very curious to see what this is. It might actually be another ruins. Indeed it is. Now here we'll be looking for suspicious gravel, which is a little harder to tell. One thing you can do is you can- oh, there you go. If you just start brushing it and nothing happens, then you know that that's not the suspicious gravel. Is that another shirt? Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Aha, there's some treasure. Uh, treasure's kind of debatable. <laughs> Whether or not that's actually of any value kind of depends on the person. Ooh, we're on the map already. It might be over here. Right, I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Ooh, there's more ruins we can explore right there, and that uh, glowing thing you see off to the left is known as a uh, ocean monument, which would have guardians and elder guardians and stuff. It's actually quite dangerous, so we won't be uh, tackling that for quite some time. Oh, okay. It's over here somewhere. So what we do is we get ourselves roughly lined up with where that X is, maybe like right here. And we'll jump down into the water, and we'll start digging away. You know what? I bet the chest is under here. <laughs> Look at all that fancy loot. Our heart of the sea, some iron, a bunch of cooked fish. Ah, ah. Okay, oof. I can take a look at all the fancy goodies we got. He's all in there. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so the hardest to the sea is a really cool item. Uh, we'll be able to make a conduit in the future, but that's going to require, like, the Nautilus shells. We got one from the Trident a while back. Trident Dryad, that had that. Uh, Prismarine crystals are pretty cool because we can craft a variety of things. It's got copper from a Drowned. We got this water breathing potion, which is pretty helpful when we're doing things related to underwater, especially when tackling one of those. Ooh, is that a boat? We might need to go check that one out. But uh, I'm going to go through this ruins real quick right here, and then I think I'll go investigate that boat, and I'll head back to the docks, unload everything, and see what we got. just have to say that this uh, 
Ruins there, he is. It's quite. Oh gosh, oh no. I have to try to get. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. We got our shield ready. We need a full shield, full shield. Okay. Alright, here we go. Our right, third round will be fighting the trident. Okay, let's get up to the surface because we need air. Okay, get our bubbles back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dive as soon as he throws, because if you go down below, it's usually harder for them to... Ow. Usually harder for them to kill you. And block. Swim. Oh. No trident. Almost died. Almost died for nothing. As I was trying to say, this is quite a large ruins over here. And this is also a place where you can actually find quite a few drowns spawning. They like to spawn near these, almost like they were the inhabitants of these ruins. <sighs> really? That's fine. Going underwater. Drink in my water breathing. Let's go. Okay, so we got our ruins here. Is there anything we want to dig around here? Not seeing anything. If we have water breathing, we can just continue to be underwater for as long as the potion effect is in effect. Grab ourselves a couple more pieces of loot. There's no gravel from what I can tell here, so we'll move on to the next set. Okay, oh, there's actually wood here. I wonder if there's treasure buried under here somewhere. Oh, hi. It's probably really, really dark right now. Oh, he picked up an item. That's one thing we haven't, I haven't covered either. Sometimes mobs can actually pick up items. And this particular guy would stay around here for pretty much forever. Until I either kill him or something kills him. He's what's uh, considered persistent. Which means they will never go away. You know, kind of kind of what the word persistent means. Alright, there's another trident guy. Going for it. Oh, I can't see where he's at. That's kind of scary. Our breathing, water breathing potion's out, so that's not good. Ugh, okay, I'm coming up here. Ugh. You, come up here. Yeah, come up to the surface. Make it easier for me to poop you in the head. Oh my god, I got him. You get lucky? Ah, not enough. Didn't get lucky enough to grab one. Alright, we're just gonna get out of here now before, uh, Things get too crazy. Oh, there's the uh, ocean monument there. We want to steer clear of that because the uh, elder guardian will actually give you an effect called mining fatigue. Mining fatigue. <sighs> Words. Mining fatigue, which makes it pretty much impossible to break almost any block unless you can insta mine it. So we're actually just going to hit that boat I saw there, and then that boat right there. Oh, look, another ocean monument. Go away, rain. This boat's actually more complete, so we're gonna get three chests out of this one. We have one here up in like the captain's quarters. Let's click all this out. Gotta swim back to the surface, get our bubbles. And then there's one trick we can do with these when they're full, is there is actually a door, which doors will actually make a air bubble. Uh, if I can get in here, let me in. <sighs> okay. And while we're in here in the air bubble, we can actually open the chest. Ooh, there's a compass in there. We've got another buried treasure map, which I'm assuming goes to the same location again. Super dark, you can't see, but uh, yes, it is the same one once again. Then we can grab this chest here, which has all sorts of fun loot in it. Putting some poison potatoes and some uh, enchanted leather. And an exciting little find there. Okay, I, I think this is a little crazy. I'm pretty sure Ocean Monument, Ocean Monument, Ocean Monument, Ocean Monument. Why are there so many? Ooh, we got some trims. That gives us three of them now. Ooh, and a bottle of enchanting. This is an exciting boat. I, I, I get to the... Over the... Ow, 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 okay. Ah, I need air. Let me in. Alrighty, well, I finished looting those 
couple of things that I wanted to, and as you can tell, we can't see hardly anything out here in the ocean. There's a little bit of land that way, but that's not where home is. It's actually lucky that I got this compass, because it helps me find the direction for home, because we built at spawn. So I can just follow the compass, knowing that it leads this way, and get back to the dock without much trouble. There it is! Well, now that we've returned, I can kind of go through everything, and I'm, I've organized things into some rough organization, so this is kind of odds and ends that aren't too valuable. We got all of our armor we found, which is pretty cool, we even got some golden horse armor. Some fancy boots, feather falling is super nice. Might need to make use of that. Of course, the flint and steel, we actually got a couple of fishing rods. Now, this, this is the first time we're seeing a curse. Curses are usually bad enchantments. So, for example, for this one, if I were to die, this item would drop on the ground and disappear forever, which would be very unfortunate. Ooh, silk touch shovel. That could be really helpful if we need to, like, for example, if we want to silk touch uh, a grass block, we could do that. Uh, if we wanted to grab some leaves, it'd also work on leaves. We could even get uh, some of the mushroom blocks if we wanted. So, the only unfortunate thing about gold tools in particular is their durability is super, super low. So it's a really, like, soft metal in a sense. Wow, sharpness 3. So that does 7 damage versus a 9 for that, which is actually pretty impressive. Oh, actually, that that's very interesting. I never knew golden tools were weaker. Huh. That's a weird change. But yeah, as you can see, this is kind of the different odds and ends we get while we are looting chests specifically and doing some of the um, archaeology. Then if we move on over here, we got five copies of the same map. Paper, some books, and some feathers. This is all the kind of like food and edibles we got, which is pretty good. Almost a stack of wheat. Got some potatoes and carrots. In fact, I'll put that in my inventory to remind me to go plant some. We got a little bit of kelp as well. And this is the most interesting chest. This is where we kind of got like our, you know, our metals, our ores kind of things that we can get here. We've got specifically prismarine crystals, which is a new item. And then over here we got our more like unique items, and this is kind of an in-between. Fire charges are a unique item in the sense that it can be used for a couple of things. You can actually use it to create fire, you can shoot it out of a dispenser. We like five fireballs go flying, which you, we do find these in the uh, trial chambers. Uh, we can also make them into fireworks, I believe, or they could be used for parts of a firework, which, yes, there are fireworks in this game. I'll have to show you those at some point. We got ourselves a bottle of enchanting, which is XP in a bottle, which you can't craft, but you can acquire from uh, cleric villagers ah. if you get them leveled up enough. Got a new set of trims. Got a couple more pottery shirts, which... I might actually use a couple of those on these to kind of decorate this place a bit more. Um, then we got the moss, which is what we were after. Moss is a super helpful item for a variety of things, but we're using it mainly for deco. Then we got these as our like two most valuable items. The hard to see, which is for making a conduit, like I mentioned before, and the sniffer egg, which is actually a mob that can hatch from this egg. But uh, unfortunately, due to the uh, nature of how this series works, it may be a while before we come back to this stuff and actually do something with it. When I find a, you know, a good reason, a good time to actually get into that specific item. So, a lot of this will, yeah, will just kind of remain here as part of the deco for this dock, which is pretty cool. This could definitely be a fun way to, you know, store your stuff from adventuring. Then you can kind of come back later and be like, oh yeah, my first uh, ocean adventure, I found all these things. Go away! Gotta deal with these uh, unwelcome visitors again. Yo! Hehe, <laughs> another bottle! I think I'll just leave you guys down there. Let them uh, wander about with their, without their captain.
Thank <laughs> you. 